This whole process has made me understand where I came from, why things have happened, and why I'm here now. It's a real big lesson for me. Once I understood it and made it part of me, you know, when I start to sing it, I mean, I just feel it, you know. I feel the power of the Hawaiian language, you know, it just kind of fills my whole body, like the music and everything. I feel so at peace with it, so a part of it. It takes me to a place I've never been to, but I should have been to, and here I am, you know. Um, it's really exciting, you know, and it's really refreshing, you know, and finally I'm doing it, you know. But yeah, with the Wild Hawaiian, people just, they just got up and moved, you know, and, and that was really great to see, you know, that, that, that something's working, you know. And, you know, what I really wanted to do, there was uh, actually really three elements there. There was the music. There was Kealoha, who was a slam poet, and he was really the messenger. He kind of like tied everything together so that I didn't have to say anything about the songs. We just went from song to song. Kealoha tied it up, and the dancers had their own little interpretation. You know, we wanted to create something that was kind of like West Side Story, you know, where the girl dancers and the male dancers, you know, this whole romantic thing happening. And it was all happening in front of everybody, and no, I don't think everybody I just knew that was happening, but, you know, waiting for me to say something when it would just go on to the next tune. And, you know, by the second song, people were just totally locked in, you know. They were on that ride, and they were listening, and they were digging it. And then at the end, they just all stood up and, you know, said, thanks. You know? It was pretty cool. There's an artist, Davo, in, uh, in Maui, who, who got so inspired by it, he, he, he's just putting out all these paintings of, uh, of the Wild Hawaiian. Uh, uh, you know, people that are getting it are just getting it, like, totally. I was driving on the um, H1 one day, coming back from a gig, just, just got coming back from the airport, and this guy pulls up on the side, toots his horn, and, and he goes, he pulls out his CD, shows it to me, and he goes like this, you know, I go, all right, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm, touching, I'm touching some people in, the, in, a, in, a, in a really musical place, and a really good place. So, I mean, you can see it in their eyes. They're just kind of like their eyes are just lit up, you know. And, um, you know, they've, they've experienced everything I've done in the past, but they've never quite experienced something like this. I could feel, you know, what they were giving, giving back to me, you know, that I could feel that they were, they were blown away. You know, they go, they were like, wow, you know. You know, I've got uh, comments from people that just basically they said, wow, you know, I wasn't expecting it. But, you know, wow, I wish, I'm glad I came and uh, more people should see it. And it was pretty cool to get that kind of feedback.